Some things to the United States government it might seem removed from our lives. However, there are politicians who work closely with the federal government and with local citizens, bridging the gaps caused by distance. Representative Mark Takano was one of them, representing District 41. Emmanuel Ramos brings us this story. Mark Takano was elected earlier this year as the United States representative for California's 41st Congressional District. He represents the citizens of Riverside, Moreno Valley, Harupa Valley, and Paris in the United States Congress. Inland Valley News recently met with him where he shared his views regarding the government shutdown and his plan to help citizens in his district get through it. I will not support uh, any effort to defund uh, the Affordable Care Act, or what's known as Obamacare, uh, in order to um, pass a continuing resolution uh, to fund the government. I think uh, that a radical, extreme minority uh, within the Senate and within the House um, are, are behaving very, very badly. Obamacare is the law of the land. It was passed by Congress. Uh, and it was uh, signed by the president. It is the law of the land uh, to try and undermine it uh, uh, by use of these tactics uh, to hold hostage um, our economy um, and to threaten to shut down the government is just plain wrong. Um, it should not be tolerated, it should not be allowed. I am hopeful that the Senate is going to strip out the provision that defunds Obamacare and that they will send uh, their bill back to the House where I will be able to promptly vote to continue funding the government and uh, to implement the Affordable Care Act where so many of our people here in Riverside County are going to benefit. Representative Takano also shared views regarding President Obama's negotiations with Syria about chemical weapons and a possible U.S. military intervention. I am very pleased that the President did step forward. Uh, President Obama did stick his neck out and say that the use of chemical weapons uh, is not something we should be doing in the 21st century, uh, and that any country or nation that uh, uses chemical weapons uh, should be uh, held to account. Uh, that being said, I'm also very happy that the president has postponed the vote on the, the um, authorization of the use of force specifically a strike against Syria, and that there are serious discussions and serious negotiations moving forward to remove those chemical weapons from Syria. Um, I think what's important is that we uh, establish this standard for the 21st century, uh, that we do not see a normalization um, of the use of these weapons, uh, and if we can move forward in the way that, uh, that, we, uh, that we are able to succeed through negotiations and through the, and through the use of forums like the UN Security Council, that, uh, that this is a very positive thing indeed. For Inland Valley News, this is Emmanuel Ramos. A recent bill allows undocumented immigrants to obtain...